Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. And in today's episode, we are revisiting a tool that I have uh, looked at a little while ago, and that is the toolbar pushback. I've seen a couple of questions in regard to this particular tool, and I figured, you know what, with this many questions, let's just do a video on it. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Alright, so... A link to this will be down in the description below, of course, but here is the main page for Toolbar Pushback. It has a ton of very, very awesome features that I really enjoy with it, so make sure you guys check this out. Again, link will be down in the description below. Um, I just want to make sure that I always show the web page, that way you guys know what you're looking at uh, when you find the one that uh, I'm referring to. So, let's get started. Um, we are on the latest release version. The latest, uh, last updated was back in September of 2021, um, but... Uh, it seems to work flawlessly for me. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the simulator. All right, so getting into this fantastic tool. So obviously it's up here, but to get it, you just go to your toolbar and here's the pushback service. Now you can do a bunch of different things, but first we're gonna start way over here on the option side, because this is the part where people seem to have a problem with uh, that comes up the most frequently, and that is the experimental features. Okay, so again, if assuming that you are on version 1.3.1, .1, you should see experimental features here, and that is the interactive pushback audio. You wanna make sure you turn that on. Uh, simulate nose wheel lift. This just changes the camera view, makes it look like the aircraft uh, is actually being lifted up off the ground, obviously. Very awesome. And then I like this one, prevent stairs from leaving, prevent catering, prevent baggage loader from leaving, uh, and then manually dismiss the fuel truck. The reason why I like this is because if not, all of those things simulate way too fast. Um, they're, they're, just, they're here and gone before you can really, you know, enjoy the experience. And especially when you're trying to do content creation, uh, it can be a bit of an immersion breaker when after six seconds, your uh, baggage loader takes off. You know what I mean? So then we come over here to the aircraft options and here's where we have all of those particular services. So here's our power cart, catering, baggage, stairs, or actually in our case, jetway. You can open doors, forward, aft, cargo. And there's all the doors opening. I think I might have double tapped the... Uh, catering so let's open up the app door again there's our jetway rolling in i'm gonna try it. there it goes i made it mad i tapped the buttons Let you guys just sort of enjoy this, soak it all in for a second. Okay, and so as I said, what's really nice about this is that once, even after the bag, that was odd, even after the baggage has already been loaded onto the aircraft, the baggage cart and the baggage loader won't take off. Same thing with the catering truck. And again, that's really nice when you're trying to do a really, um, you know, immersive simulation. Um, just makes it last a little bit longer, gives you a bit more time to do those cool screenshots or maybe you're doing a live stream, whatever it may be, or just enjoy being able to see the activity happening on the airport. Now, when I, we actually get into the pushback portion, this is where this all gets pretty awesome. Now, as soon as we hit start pushback, it does automatically clear everything out, which is great because it's a one button stop and shop, right? So if we just hit start pushback now, it's going to turn that up here. And so ground told the cockpit to stand by. You can see all of the external vehicles and everything like that are starting to clear out. Doors will be shut, etc. The bypass pin is installed. All doors and hatches closed and all ground equipment is removed. Parking brake set, lifting the aircraft. Okay, so you guys can hear that audio interaction. This is really nice. It's actually a lot of fun Standing from the cockpit, too. Push back. Okay. 
Now, as far as controlling the pushback itself, this part's really easy. So we can either tell them we want to pull it forward or we want to go to reverse. That's step one. So we're going to select a direction. Obviously, we don't want to go forward. That would really ruin our day pretty quickly. But we do want to go in reverse. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. We are cleared for start and push. Parking brake set. Okay, cleared for push start. Please release parking brake. Now, if you're on the external view, you can just use this. If you're in the cockpit, obviously, you can just flip the switch, whatever it may be. We're just going to use this for now. Parking brakes are released. Commencing pushback. You can start the engines in sequence. It will start in the sequence. Okay, so here we can set the speed. You can see that I can control it. Here, I'm using the rudder pedals, which is really, really nice and very handy. So we can sort of do one of these numbers, and it even works from the exterior. So if I want to come outside, oh, I have to hit C though, is the catch. If you're using the external view, you need to make sure you hit C or whatever it is, whatever key you have bound to uh, allow you to control the uh, aircraft from the exterior view. But it is a really, really awesome, neat feature. It's a lot of fun to use from the cockpit, especially if you're looking around. And you can take this off screen if you have a different monitor. I'll leave it on for you guys' sake, but normally I have this off screen when I want to use this one. So let's just say we're going here, and then you finally get to your pushback location. Simply hit hold. It's going to stop the aircraft. Stop pushback. Okay, pushback completed. Please set your parking brake. Now, if we wanted to, we could pull the aircraft forward before we had told it to stop. If we needed to come forward a little bit, whatever it may be. Set parking brake. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Lowering aircraft. Ground. You may disconnect. Okay, sir. Clear to disconnect. Pin has been removed. See you at the side. Have a good flight. Holding position waiting for the visual. Thank you and goodbye. And boom. There is a successful pushback using the toolbar pushback tool. It's a very, very awesome tool. Like I said, I know I've said that I'm probably sounding like a broken record at this point, but it really is one of my favorite. Um, actually, it is my favorite of the pushback services, and I've tried, gosh, I mean, if you guys go back through all of my videos, God help you, but if you do, you will find multiple videos on different pushback tools. I had Pushback Recorder, I had, um, there was a Payware one, Pushback Express, I have that one, uh, the, I think, Better Pushback, I, I want to think that was x -Plane, but I don't think that... There was another one, right, that was real popular for a long time, and then this one here. And this one is my favorite. It's the one that I've held on to the longest um, and still use every single time I fly one of these aircraft. Um, highly recommend it. The experience is a ton of fun. It's really well written, and it's just simple. You know, it, it's not trying to be too flashy or anything like that. It works very, very nicely. I've never had a problem with it, never had it crash, never had the jetways not respond, you know, when they should, etc. cetera. Uh, it just really really good these guys um, ambitious pilots they do such fantastic work guys um, so be sure to check it out you know help them out if you can obviously continue to support the future projects if they have any um, but uh, anyway those are my thoughts on toolbar pushback I had a lot of questions on it in the last few videos uh, where I have used it um, and I figured you know I had one gentleman reach out to me to the to me today on Patreon. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to help everyone out. So I really hope that solved everyone's problems. Remember, if you're not seeing the things that I'm seeing, make sure you are on the same version I am. I am using the latest version, which at the time of making this video, the release was September 5th of 2021 and version is 1.3.1. All right, guys. Well, as always, stay safe and healthy out there. Please, I know things are getting crazy again starting to jump off again. So take care of yourselves, take care of your family, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.